Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you all the vintage and secondhand items that I've been gathering up from local charity shops and vintage markets. This is all stuff I'm collecting to put onto my Etsy shop in the future and I thought it'd be, make an interesting video seeing the variety of things that you can find secondhand. So I'm going to go through them in order of like what they're made of. So I'm going to start with all of my pottery items. One of the first things that I found this month were these collection of bowls and there's a vase as well. There's a blue one and also a brown one. So these are all been made, they've all been made by the same person. They say on the bottom ARN and they're dated the 2nd 87, so February 87, this says it was made. So I found these really interesting, they've got really nice different glaze on, they're really like unique in shape, that all, each of them are a different shape. And they've got this really nice ombre blue colour on them. I also found this small dish, which is like a lovely little trinket dish, or you could put like tea bags when you've used them, or anything small and dainty. It's made of terracotta, like the pots, and this is a York Rose pottery product. And I think that is the York Rose there in the middle. And it's kind of raised as well on the top. Next is these mugs. So I have a pair like this, and then a pair that's nearly the same. Slightly different, has a pattern only on one side of the mug. And I thought these were really nice. They're hand painted because they're, but they're all slightly different. So you can tell they're hand painted. And they just remind me of like a cute cottage core kind of item. And they're in great shape. There's no, um, there's no chips. They're perfectly brand new and they're really, really clean as well. And last in the kind of pottery section is this large bowl which I would probably use as either a fruit bowl or like on the coffee table on a couple of books maybe with um, those beads like coming out of it I thought that would look really nice it's kind of a beigey browny kind of taupe color on the outside and then it has like a pale blue glaze in the middle it kind of reminds me of the glaze that's on this pot there's quite a lot of like pale blue Glazes out there, apparently. <laughs> okay, so next products would be anything wooden. So I've got a few bits of bobs. So these, this, this is a little like storage bowl. It's got a little lid. And then also this um, kind of flower and leaf design I also found on some cufflinks, not cufflinks, I also found on some napkin rings. I have three of those napkin rings and then I also found them, found the same, roughly the same pattern, actually no it's the same pattern on this bowl, but then all of these three items were all from different shops. So they weren't sold together, they were in different places. So I'd imagine they've been donated by different households, but they just happened to have the same design, the same wood type. These are a little bit darker, The um, I keep calling them cufflinks, oh my god. Uh, these napkin rings were a bit darker, but I think they might have been varnished differently. But yeah, exactly the same. I also got this wooden kind of, kind of looks like a bowl, but I've put like a pillar 
candle in the middle and it looks really, really nice. It has like a soft touch base so it doesn't scratch the surfaces and it's a really nice colour. I did put some olive oil on this because it was slightly dull, it didn't have like a nice rich tone when I bought it and the olive oil has sunk into the wood really well, it's not oily at all and it's made it look a lot more like vibrant and rich toned. I found this large kind of decorative bowl really recently, last week, and I thought it was really nice for the size of it, it's really good. It's got like, you can see that it's made of like two pieces of wood together, it's got this, um, I don't know what you call it, actually no it's not a seam, I think it is one piece of wood, but it has like this marking down the middle which makes it really nice and organic. This also has a like soft touch base thing. And similar to the other, the large uh, pottery bowl, I thought this would look really nice on like a dining table, coffee table, whole fruit or decorative, decorative stuff. It has a strange, I don't know if you'll be able to see it on camera, it has a strange like pattern where some, it looks like something's been left and it's it's completely smooth, so it's got like a swirly pattern, obviously been transferred from something else. But I still thought it was really nice. That kind of gives it a bit of patina. So yeah, that's my last like wooden item of this collection. So glass items, I have got a few pieces. Yeah, I think I need to go and get some from the kitchen. There's a few in there. And I'll first show you this really nice, like, smoked glass brown. It's like a nibble bowl. It has three sections. And it's, like, ridged on the outside. It says it was made in France. And I really just like the, the colour and also the ribbed texture of it. I thought that was lovely. I got this cute little tiny candlestick holder and uh, perfect for like a tapered candle and it's got lovely like cut glass detailing as well. Now quite a while ago, um, probably this is probably one of the first items that I got earlier this month and it is these, this kind of moon shaped dish and it has kind of cut glass and it's kind of makes up half, half a flower shape. And I've, I thought this would be really, really nice for jewelry on a dressing table, but it also could hold like nibbles, like nuts and things on a table, similar to the brown uh, glass one I just showed. Also this week, I had picked up some other glass items and these are all like pink glass. So I got a set of small little, like cute little dessert bowls. They have flowers and leaves running around the outside. And there's a set of four. So I thought they were really sweet. They're like a peachy pink, not too, um, not too much of a sweet pink. That makes sense. Pink, pink. A bit more, a bit more corally pink. Then I also got this set of four items. It was, it was on a display for like Valentine's Day. <laughs> surprise, surprise. And it's pink. It came with this large tray, which you would probably put on a dressing table uh, traditionally, so you could use it for anything you want, and this cute little, this is like a dish, so you could probably put that on there to put a little trinkets in, and then it also came with two candlesticks, which these are really lovely, um, when I go to sell these, the candlesticks will be sold separately as a pair, and this will be sold 
those two items will be sold as a separate item. Um, so yeah, they're really, they're all the same color. Um, oh, they do match, they do match, but I feel like you wouldn't probably want everything in the set. It's nicer to split things up. So this is a pair of candlesticks. Really lovely, vibrant kind of pink color, pink glass. So also in my glass section is lots of vintage bottles in mainly in brown. These were all dug up from the ground by a certain man on the vintage market. And he sells loads of them, uh, different, sometimes green, like clear, brown. I also got some small like pottery ones. So this is just a variety of different ones in different sizes that I bought. This one is like green. This is an old whiskey bottle. I also got a little one this size. Uh, I got two of these. These say viral on them. And I think that was poison. And then I've got this one that says not to be taken on it. And a little one that's kind of a nice, what size is that? One, two, three, eight, octagon shaped. Um, so I've got quite a lot, this shape, it's kind of a, it's kind of slightly curved. Apparently they used to put it in their pocket on the way back from the pub, which is kind of funny to think about. Um, so my idea with these is, oh God. So my idea with these is I'm going to put dried stems in it, about five or six stems of like grasses, bunny tails, poppy seed heads, and I'm going to sell them as a decorative item. Yeah. With the dried flowers in because they're really, really lovely bottles and they've got patina, they're aged, they've been in the ground for God knows how long. Um, so yeah. Lovely. Divine, delicious. Is that nice? That's... Okay, that's it for glass items. And I have one category left, and that's books. So many books. <laughs> oh no, I wait. I also have one other thing that doesn't fit in any category. It is these napkins that I got. So they're the only kind of textile thing that I've bought this month. Um, Cause it's quite hard to find anything decent uh, in, in second hand. So these are four, a set of four green napkins. They've got like a flower leaf. Yeah, flower and, flowers and leaves pattern on them. And also like a border as well. Yeah, they're really nice. Quite a nice, vibrant, greeny, olivey greeny color. Okay, back to books. So I've been trying to get a selection of colors, but I mainly look for green books. Um, I've got have a few orange and blue and I like to pick ones that have either nice titles or are about like flowers gardening um have someone like I have some classic books so I bought uh, this one which is Wuthering Heights and it does have a little bit of a, de a delicate spine but that shows its age and they're all lovely like vintage. So this is a really nice like ready orangey book. And I also got The Count of Monte Cristo, which is a green, thick but tiny, thick but tiny book. <laughs> um, what else? Oh, I got some Shakespeare, works of Shakespeare, lots of, an Enid Blyton book, but everything 
that looks, I had to take some jackets off, some dust jackets. So I wanted them all like this. So hard backed, more of the colorful variety. Oh, so these are all the green ones that I got. They are varied in size and slightly color as well. And there's a nice, there's a really special one here. It's got a lovely, I'm not sure if you're about to see, but it's a, lo a lovely like embossed gold flower. Not embossed, what's it called? Foiling? Maybe, maybe foiling on the spine. So even though I bought this book with the dust sheet, dust sheet, no, dust jacket on, um, I did check the book before I bought it to see what it was like underneath. So they're green ones. I have these three that are like a teal. They're quite bright, like pretty tealy blue color. Some of them are older than others. These two are a lot older than this, like Bronte Omnibus book. But it's a really, really beautiful color and it will age anyway, uh, over time. On the darker blue scale, I have these three. So this middle one is the works of Charles Dickens. So that's quite a nice, nice spine on that one. And then finally, I have uh, bright orangey books. So I have those three, which are kind of orange, red. I think I'm actually missing one. I think there's one upstairs that is quite orange as well. And then obviously that's the Wuthering Heights one. And this is my only neutral book at the moment. And it's just a history book, but I'm after more kind of neutrals to blend in with the others because I'm going to sell the books in like sets of three for decorative purposes or reading if you really want to read but the subjects probably might be quite varied per set. So that's it for this month's kind of collection of things that I've got second hand. If you're interested in buying any of these things they will be listed on my Etsy shop on Friday I think it's the 3rd of February and I will leave a link in my description if you want to go and check them out on Friday. Let me know if you enjoyed this video in the comments and leave a like and subscribe if you aren't already. Thanks very much for watching guys and I'll see you next time. Bye! I kept calling these, I kept calling these cufflinks. Why? Napkin rings. Napkin. I even have a napkin to put in them. Ta-da!